back to my channel. Once again, I am the Sinister One. Sorry, I've been away for quite some time, but my television took a dive. So $450 later, I had to replace the motherboard in it. So now, I finally got it back, and I will be doing a DVD, Blu-ray, VHS update for the month of June 2015. I hope you enjoy this video, because I got quite a bit of stuff to show off and it was my birthday this month so I have a few gifts I received as well so first things first I would like to give some shameless shout outs to my subscribers without you I would be just talking to a camera and no one would be listening so thanks for all your support I do greatly appreciate that so the 13th Wolfman, thank you. Leroy Green 85, thanks for subscribing. Chris Fields, thank you. Of course, Mood 616, a legend in this YouTube community. Probably got every movie known to man in the genre. You and your horror movies, thanks so much. JTHM79, thank you. Necroblood 666, I appreciate. It's so much. Shagrat 65. Vanilla, Vanilla Gorilla Beast. <clears throat> the Whore File. Nice guy. Orphan Man. I appreciate it. Double Shot DJ. JP. Thanks for putting the word out there. You guys are awesome. Uh, the 22 Shots of Moods. Great stuff. And of course. My family members, Marcos and Javier, my wife, of course, her sister, Joe Richards, another co-worker of mine, Stephen Albert, another co-worker, and everyone else that's not publicly shown. I appreciate the subscriptions and spread the word, the sinister one. Thank you so much. So. <clears throat> First I'd like to show off, starting with the DVDs, From Hell with Johnny Depp. It's a great movie. Watched it in the cinema, but I just picked it up this month because I've been waiting to get it with the slip cover. And of course there's the stickers on it, so I have to remove these. These are very irritating. I hate when they put the stickers on, you know, the slip covers and the DVDs. It's like, is that even necessary but yes I have to remove these so I will be doing that in the near future another pickup with the old school cardboard which I don't mind these I actually like these it's Final Destination I own the, the 3D and the fifth one and here's the first one and it's it's awesome. New Land Platinum Series. So, picked it up at Family Dollar. Also at Family Dollar, the Midnight Movies, the B Movies, MGM. Starting to collect all these on DVD. So, X, the man with the X ray eyes. Midnight B Movies 4 pack. Morons from. Outer Space, Alien from LA, The Man from Planet X, The Angry Red Planet. It's a four pack. I think there's only three that they came out with. Maybe four. I think it's four. <coughs> Another midnight movie, B movie, obviously. The Return of Dracula and The Vampire, double feature. Another midnight movie, B movie double feature, The Wild Angels and Hell's Bellas. I got this one at Big Lots, three dollars. Decoys, the second seduction. Also at Family Dollar, I picked up the first one. Decoys. Have not yet watched these, but I can't wait. Another story here I have is 
I got fake to black. About the beginning of June. But this one was from the UK. I did buy this one from the UK months ago. It came in very quick. But a story on this is I first picked it up through iOffer.com and I picked it up in the beginning of January. It didn't show up till June, which was crazy. And the backstory to that is this guy said, you know, it's going to be about three weeks. I live in Brazil, so it's going to take a while. Three weeks went by, I never received it. So I messaged him and said, hey, you know, it's three weeks now. I still don't have it in the mail. He says, give it another two weeks. Give it another two weeks, nothing. So I messaged him again. I said, hey, what's going on here? You trying to rip me off? You know, what are you? Uh, just bring con or something? So we went back and forth and things got kind of heated. And I finally told him, you know, well, why don't you just give me my money back, you know. And he said, you know, I'll send you another copy. It probably got lost in the mail. I'm sorry, I can't come to your doorstep and bring it to you in person. It's just the mail service. It's out of my hands. So I said, you know what, forget it. I'll just go elsewhere and keep my money. So in the beginning of June, I just happened to check my mailbox, and lo and behold, there it is, six months later, Fade to Black, the U.S. copy. So, I apologize, you know, I messaged him back and said, you know, I'm sorry for being so pushy about this film, you know. I thought he ripped me off, but apparently he was an honest guy and it wasn't his fault. Of course, he lives all the way in Brazil, so I guess it takes a while to get back to the U.S. So. I'm glad to have the UK copy and the US release, so Fade to Black. I also got this one at Family Dollar, The Tingler, with Vincent Price. White Noise with Michael Keaton. Of course, the stickers. Is it necessary to put stickers all over this? Now I have to remove each and every one of them and then especially the side and not only do they have to put the sticker on but they tape it with scotch tape so it, it's even more of a pain and then I got some great Clint Eastwood classics here Deadpool this completes my Dirty Harry collection another one Blood Work which is actually a great Clint Eastwood film. He directs it, and it's about him tracking a serial killer. The Anchor Bay edition release of Evil Speak, starring Clint Howard. It's a great film, but of course there's an uncut version of this film that I have to track down. Also, Scream Factory did release this on Blu-ray, which I have to pick that up. But the Anchor Bay was available and I had to get it. Me and my wife picked this one up for pretty cheap at Walmart in the dump bin so we saw it at the cinema. It's not the greatest Carrie edition but you know Carrie films are, are great either way and just to complete that collection we had to get the remake. Of course, uh, Franklin Jella, Dracula, 1979, with Donald Pleasant. This is a great film. Another one at Family Dollar that was a shocker, and I was so happy to find this. I, Madman. This is a great film. Also, Scream Factory did re-release it on Blu-ray, so I have to pick that up. And we got this, I got this at uh, the beginning of June. The Prowler special effects makeup artist was Tom Savini, directed by Joseph Zito. I picked this up. I had to watch it twice. It's such a great slasher film from the 80s. One that I bought 
to start completing my 80s decade collection. Um, it's an archive Warner Brothers collection film. It's a mod manufactured on demand called The Awakening with Charleston Heston. It's a great film if you're into the old school mummy type of Egypt stuff. <coughs> and starting with the classic collections, I know they're not everyone's favorite, but I do like to pick up films that are on these collection films because well, they're great films. And this one is a classic mystery collection with Vincent Price, Bela Lugosi, Boris Karloff, Mr. Wong collection, Bulldog Drummond, Mr. Wong, and Nancy Drew, so gotta dip into the bees. Another cult classic feature, Gore House Greats Collection. And of course it's got the flipper discs. And they come in these sleeves, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but hey. These are some good movies to watch. I also been wanting to get the Spaghetti Western directed by Lucio Fulci. It's called Massacre Time, and it comes in this 20-pack uh, Western uh, movie pack. So, yes, Lucille Fulci Massacre Time, and it's got a lot of other greats, Django movies, so Buffalo Bill. So I can't wait to watch that. So the whole purpose of it was for the Massacre Time by Lucille Fulci. And they, they come in a stacked this style, which I'm not the greatest fan of, but hey, you know, it's alright. And going on with some of the gifts I've received, and a co-worker of mine, Susan, gave me this movie, Cosmopolis, directed by David Cronenberg, so uh, that was a shocker, it was really nice of her, so... Yeah, I can't wait to check this out. It's got a lot of notable actors in this one. And I'll probably do a review on this later on. And a good friend of mine, Kaylin Holschlag, got me this for my birthday, Escape. Of course, action heroes, Stallone and Schwarzenegger. And my wife got me <coughs> these two trauma movies for my birthday. One of them is titled Chillers. Now I was on Moods 616 channel uh, looking at his 82, uh, 52 weeks. I do believe this was the 82 one. No, this was the 88, I'm sorry. And I just got done watching his review on Chillers from Troma. And I was like, oh, I definitely need to check this one out. I do have it in the tin cans because I have both. Troma tin cans, but I wanted to get the standalone uh, release of it, and come to find out, it's my birthday, and she does happen to have this in her little gift basket, and I was that was just a weird coincidence, but I watched it shortly after, and this movie is actually a great horror anthology by Troma. And she also got me another one from Troma called Breeding Farm. I've yet to watch this film, so looks kind of sadistic on the back. And now with the box set that my wife got me, and she got a good deal on this, and it's the Omen Collection. I've been wanting this all my life, and it's always been expensive, overpriced, but great movies here. This is a very great uh, franchise. And it has all of them. Including the Omen remake, which I already have this film. The Omen 4, which I don't remember seeing this one at all. Of course, the collector's edition of the original Omen with Gregory Peck. 
The Omen 2, which was a very good film. And of course, Sam Neill playing Damien in Omen 3, The Final Conflict, which happens to be a great favorite of mine. And, you know, I think this was a great conclusion to the trilogy. But then they came out with the fourth one, and I don't remember ever watching it, so can't wait to put it on. So yes, the Omen Collection. One of my most favorite quotes is, For you, Damien! <clears throat> now with the VHS Collection. And of course, I picked up to die for. So, great vampire film from back in the day, and it scared me when I was a little kid, so I don't think they have a release on DVD, so I was like, VHS all the way, and also got the sequel. I don't remember this one at all, so can't wait to watch it, but yes, I do have to pick up another VCR, because my old VCR ate a couple of my tapes, which kind of made me very angry, so let me get a new VCR. And the only Blu-ray I picked up for the month of June in 2015 is La Femme Nikita, which I don't believe I've ever seen. Picked it up at Family Dollar, and I do have to say that I do own the remake, which is the U.S. remake, 1993, Point of No Return, which is a good film, great film, so yeah, I cannot wait to watch this film, so cheers, and thank you for watching my DVD, Blu-ray, VHS update for June 2015, and I'll probably just do something random out of this stack that I got and do a review right away, so thanks for watching, please subscribe, like the video, comment, you guys are awesome. And I will see you next time.